Hi and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to give you my 38 week pregnancy update. I'm currently 38 weeks and three days pregnant with our boy girl twins. I'm 47 years old in case you don't know me yet. Uh, we conceived the twins through embryo donation. Uh, we went to the Czech Republic last year and they both stuck. So I'm just gonna give you some updates about symptoms and things that are going on. This might be the last update. I have no idea how much longer they're gonna stay in. Let me just start out with saying that I went to another ultrasound last week. We wanted to check how the babies lie still. <clears throat> Although my midwife, of course, um, she has a good sense. It's not easy though for twins, even seeing them on an ultrasound it's a little bit tricky sometimes to just kind of figure out, okay, where is the head and the legs, like which body and which legs belong to what baby. But um, they're still both head down, which is great. So um, that means nothing speaks against a natural delivery up to this point. Everything else is great too. Placentas are looking good. Baby's blood flow is looking good. They're both still growing nicely. Um, they should be around 3,000 grams right now. I don't know what that is in ounces. I'm gonna try to see if I can find a conversion, ta conversion table and put it in pounds and ounces. So everything is looking good, which I'm really happy about because this late in the game, of course, with twins, you really have to make sure that they're still both getting you know, all the nutrition and all the proper blood flow. There's still enough amniotic fluid. Just like my midwife said, she said that when you can still kind of move the belly, you kind of feel if there's still enough liquid around the babies. So the doctor just confirmed what my midwife already figured, but it's always good to have a visual and to be 100% sure just to be on the safe side. So um, that's good. Um, the twins are kicking a lot and it's really starting to hurt. Uh, one of the babies is right below my right ribs here, but really, really kicking me sometimes like it really hurts. <laughs> I have the feeling like how, how big can my uterus be? Like, can it be below my ribs? Like even tucked under, it just feels like it. So um, that is sometimes even hurtful, like it's even painful. And sometimes my bladder, uh, it's another level of how they stomp on my bladder sometimes. It's not just uncomfortable, it just straight out, it just burns. It's almost like there are these burning, sharp pains that suddenly come when you feel like, oh, right now someone's just really pinching my bladder. It almost feels like, you know, like a like an infection, like a urinary tract infection for just like a second. It burns and then it's okay, and it burns and it's okay. You can feel them move, which I always say, please just don't do that. But um, I always tell the babies, you know, you do what you need to do. I'm the grown up here. I'm the one who wanted all this, and I'm the one who is kind of the leader here because I'm I'm supposed to deal with all this. So whatever they need, I'm here to just deal with whatever they need, right? The same after I give birth, of course. I'm gonna be here for their every need. Doesn't matter how tired I get, how exhausted I get. Um, it's all about them. I'm sitting here now right in front of this um, and this is a lot of twin parents told me that this is a lifesaver. It can be a total game changer. This has a motor and you can, let me show you. It only works when there's weights in there. We've tried it out with actual weights, but um, it'll bounce the babies. You can also just put one baby in, but it'll bounce the babies. And um, it's very snuggly and cuddly. And to the babies, it feels very much like they're in the womb because they're really snuggled up, um, you know, like by the fabric. And I'm gonna make another video about the bedside nursery because we're not doing a room. The 
twins are not going to have a room for now. They're just going to be in my room. And um, other than that, they're just going to be with me in my bedroom or like downstairs here when I'm out and about, like just going about my day. So um, I'm going to make a video. Hopefully, if I have the energy, I'll film it today and then I'll upload it in the next couple of days or so. Other than that, there's one thing that I was really, it was a scare. My blood pressure went up for a couple days, like really up. And I was really getting worried. I was like, because I take my blood pressure every single day at home. I think it's a lot more representative than, you know, when I'm at the doctor's office. It has been fine, but then for a couple of days it went way up. And, um, you know, I was almost about to, you know, either see a doctor or really think about what should I do? Is this, you know, like I was worried about it. Um, so it went up to like between 150 and 160 over between 90 and 100. So that's, that's like really high. I then tried to find out everything because, you know, of course, everyone always tells you the only way to stop the high blood pressure is by getting the babies out. However, I didn't have any other symptoms of any signs of preeclampsia or anything, which is excessive swelling, which I didn't have at all, headaches, which I didn't have at all, pretty much ever in my entire pregnancy, blurred vision or like weird vision, which I didn't have at all. And I felt generally, actually, I didn't, f I, I felt just totally normal. So um, I tried to just try for a day or so and see, okay, let me wait one more day and see if I can do anything to lower it. So one thing that I have changed as of recently that I think contributed to high blood pressure was just like I, because I was so just physically exhausted, my body was just so exhausted that I have been lying around a lot. And uh, I'm normally someone who's very active and I've been working out for years and I actually worked out throughout the pregnancy but I had been laying around for just a lot more because I thought like, okay, just the last few days now. But since we're just, you know, the babies are technically full term. So if there were contractions now, it would be fine. It would be all great. So I started doing more exercising again. It is hard. But you know, I just modify and do what I can. But the main thing is I got my heart rate up. You know, I did some cardio, getting my heart trained and getting my blood vessels widened. Another thing I did was warm and cold um, showers on my legs, which, you know, I have been having some swelling on my feet and ankles, um, really nowhere else. And I haven't gained any weight, which, course excessive swelling and you gaining a lot of weight within a short period of time which means you just have liquid retention that's another sign for preeclampsia which is so dangerous of course I didn't have any of that so that's why I thought let me give it one more day and see how how is it tomorrow I drank ginger tea I took I have cinnamon capsules which you know looked up all the things that you can do in pregnancy to lower blood pressure. However, of course, cinnamon and, you know, like hot stuff and spicy stuff, you should not have it if you're not full term because it, it could have the tendency to start contractions. But it would be fine now for me to have contractions. So um, I, I have upped my protein intake. I always think that, you know, when your body has a problem, it's usually like, it is not getting something it needs or something, something, sometimes it's even mechanical. So I did some exercises that, you know, in a, I'm in a group where people share and they said it it helped them with a blood pressure in pregnancy. And so um, I did some exercises, mainly relieving my kidneys and trying to take the weight off some of my organs, um, kneeling down and face down putting my butt up in the air and reclining like this a little bit. And I do feel like it did make a difference. It just feels so good. More doing more hip circling just to stay in motion 
in my pelvis, you know, to where like all those organs are still getting squished now and really taking more protein. I've been, you know, like yesterday for breakfast, I had two eggs and um, some Swiss chard. And um, then I had for lunch, I had salmon um, with some veggies. I had a protein shake, um, so that that really helped. So yesterday I had like a lot of a lot of protein, but since I've been upping the protein, then that next day my blood pressure went down to 125 over 80, which is fine. And it has been for the last couple of days. It has been within that range. So I'm I'm just happy. I'm gonna try to stick with what I've been doing the past few days to keep my blood pressure under control because I would not want like those just those last few days now I mean we're literally in the in the end stretch of it all I would not want any complications um you know it's not it's dangerous for me and it could be dangerous for the babies if I developed anything like preeclampsia which we don't want of course so I'm always cautious but I also believe strongly in helping your body help itself. And of course, being pregnant with twins is a situation that is just, just, it's a lot for your body. And I'm 47, so, you know, I'm probably doing pretty good, even in comparison to younger women who are pregnant with twins. But still, I just, I think I just need better nourishment. I've been eating really healthy, but it's just about the nourishment and just... I just need more and so lately honestly every day that goes by we're like are they still in there do they still want to be in there every single day yesterday um, my midwife called me and asked me it's like any any indications and I was like no not at all I think they feel really good in there so we always joke and say well it's winter here now they like to be in the warmth they like to stay in the womb because it's cold here and they don't want to be cold. They want to stay nice and cozy inside of my womb. Which of course for me, it is getting more and more difficult. Uh, it's not a joke. It's just hard. Especially at night. Now, I'm, I, today I'm really tired. Although, I mean, I can't say that I ever have a really good night's sleep. <laughs> really. It's not like I go to bed and I sleep through the night. It hasn't been like that for a while, but um, I don't know. I just, it's because the babies are so on the bladder. I have a feeling sometimes every 15 minutes, like I have to go to the bathroom and I'm someone, I just can't go back to sleep if I have the slightest feeling like I need to go to the bathroom. I just can't. And then even just getting up, it takes me a long time. I'm like debating, oh, should I get up? I don't want to get up. Oh, but it's just pushing my bladder but I don't want to get up. It's so hard to get up, but I need to get up. <laughs> and so it takes me sometimes 10, 15 minutes to decide to actually get up. And by the time I get up and I go to the bathroom and I lie back down, which is also not so easy. It's easier than getting up, but it's also like, ouch, ouch, belly, belly, belly. It's that belly is just so heavy. It's just getting more difficult. And so it's, it's just hard, which of course is to be expected. Let me show you my bump, and I think that's pretty much it for today. There's There are no other updates. I'm going to have another midwife appointment tomorrow, and now the belly shot. I'm wearing these maternity sweatpants today. They're really comfortable, and uh, I don't know. My skin today is quite itchy again. There are... It's... Like I said before, babies are doing growth spurts. There are sometimes, there are days when I just feel quite comfortable with my skin and it's not even, it doesn't feel like it's stretching a lot. And there are days when I feel like, oh, how much more can it go? And today it's like, it's kind of itchy. I need to put lotion on again. So there's the belly. And then let me show you. I don't, I'm not sure, I, I can't really see any stretch marks, like this down here, this is my appendix scar. I had my appendix removed when I was 14 or 15, 
I can't never remember. But um, that scar is stretching a lot and around my belly button. That, that is the most uncomfortable area. It's just so sensitive. It's crazy. It's almost like, you know, like a scar tissue and it stretches out. Everything else feels fine, of course. Oh, you see how I'm out of breath. Um, I feel, yeah, I can feel the heads like way down here. And I can literally, my daughter felt it and she's like, ooh, that's kind of crazy. You can literally feel the little head right here. It's, it's right here. It's very hard when you touch right here. This is where the leading twin's head is, right here. I haven't, I don't feel like they've lowered yet. I'm not sure because my stomach is still getting so squished and everything is just making me out of breath, but um, only a few more days, right? So that's it for today. I have no idea if there will be another pregnancy update. I'm hoping every day now is like, okay, maybe today, maybe today, but no signs. I have no contractions at all so far. A little bit of Braxton Hicks, nothing bad, not, not more than before. And I don't know, it might start quickly or not. With my daughter, it started quickly and it just went, you know, into birth quite quickly. So have a great day and I'll see you soon.